the autonomous strategist, which represents about 5% of the U.S. adult population. So the strategist can take a system's view of reality. A strategist can comprehend multiple interconnected systems of relationships and processes, both internally and externally. The first stage here, this is the first stage that recognizes the need and value of all the lower stages. So this is huge. One's perspective becomes so high that one realizes that all the lower perspectives, so to speak, are all necessary and play their function. In the same way that you recognize when you're an adult that kids need to go through different grades in school and that just because your kid is in fifth grade doesn't mean he's bad or wrong or evil. He's in fifth grade because that's the age he's at and that's what he needs to, you know, that's the material he needs to go through to move on to sixth grade and to seventh grade and to eighth grade and then ultimately to become like you. So how can you judge and demonize him for doing that when you did it yourself? When you see yourself moving through all these different stages, when you remember how it was like to be a conformist and then to be an expert and then to be stuck in rationalism at the achiever level and so on, when you remember all this and you sympathize, empathize with it, then you have compassion for all these different perspectives and you realize that, yeah, People are stuck oftentimes in these stages, but uh, judging them for it, demonizing them for it, is not going to work. That's a low consciousness way of dealing with the situation. This is the first stage that really expresses and embodies the global worldview. The pluralist stage that came before can express, can talk about the global worldview, but can't fully embody it yet because it's still too judgmental because most of the world is not as developed as they are. Uh, but the strategist is now de developing this capacity, a truly global worldview, an inclusive worldview. The strategist can perceive systemic patterns and long-term trends. There's a sense of oneself as part of an ongoing history. Uh, the strategist sees oneself through an evolutionary lens not just the self, but society and the whole world. All of us are going through this evolutionary process. It's a messy, challenging, chaotic process that involves many different overlapping systems. And we're all a part of it. We're all entangled with it. And the strategist is able to see that and to appreciate it and to kind of project forward. The strategist can, can look backwards at the evolutionary path of society and then the self, himself, herself, uh, one's culture as well, and then project that forward as well. We can project forward the, the evolution of mankind, of our society, of our culture, of our country, of our family, of our company, and of ourselves. Thoughts and feelings can no longer be isolated, forming a dynamic interplay. The strategist can now make meaning autonomously independent of conventional ideas. Now there's an idea to actually generate new ideas and new meanings independently of culture or your society or what your coworkers are doing or what your teachers and friends are doing or what your family is doing. To truly think independently, this is such a rare ability. And I'll talk about that. I'll have a whole episode in the future about how to truly think independently. It's a huge game changer if you learn to do it. Uh, the strategist takes responsibility for their interpretation valuation and sense-making and life stories. This is huge. Most of the prior stages find clever ways to shirk responsibility. And even the pluralist will still shirk responsibility. But the strategist is taking a lot more responsibility. And basically that's what going up all these stages are. When you get to the very highest stages, you become so responsible <laughs> for everything. Uh, because you realize that there, there's literally nobody to blame other than your own mind. And so you take responsibility for how your mind is interpreting, evaluating, and making sense and meaning out of reality. And this, this, this changes everything for you. The strategist is consciously committed to making a meaningful life for uh, herself and others through self-actualization. The strategist has successfully integrated those sub-personalities and sub-identities that I was talking about with the pluralist just a few moments ago. Has already integrated those, and so 
The strategist is more grounded there, not so torn and confused as the pluralist was. The strategist is what you become after you've gone through maybe a five or 10 years of the pluralist sort of flailing around, playing with different perspectives, being kind of hippy-dippy and airy-fairy and wishy-washy, and maybe sometimes not so practical. And uh, and then, but then you kind of, out of all that, something starts to congeal and come together, something more solid, and that's what the strategist is. The sense of self in the strategist is both differentiated and integrated at the same time. Remember I talked about how these stages oscillate between differentiation and integration of the ego self? Well, this is now starting to, to bear fruit as something cohesive and whole. Uh, the strategist tends to have a, a, a sense of transformational mission. The strategist is not just here on this planet to enjoy himself, to titillate herself with pleasures of the body or even the mind. Uh, the strategist is here on a larger mission. The strategist is infused with a grand purpose and vision of what could be, of what mankind could become, of what the world needs to move forward in the evolutionary process. So the strategist is sort of a midwife to the birthing of a new humanity through this evolutionary process by understanding it and working with the various systems that are involved. And by transforming oneself through self-actualization to uh, become better in helping, well, to basically to become a better midwife for mankind in whatever way that is. There's many different ways in which you could be a midwife for mankind. Not, <laughs> don't take it literally. Uh, it's a figurative, abstract way of speaking about it. Uh, the strategist worries most about failing to observe universal principles. So they tend to be very principled people. They, they want honesty, authenticity, truth, you know, whatever principles they hold, they will tend to want to walk their talk, not just talk, but actually hold themselves to that high standard. And oftentimes one of their downfalls is that they will guilt themselves for not being able to meet these, you know, high principles and high standards. Because it's difficult to transform the human animal, the human chimp, in order to fit in with these universal principles and ideals, you know, to be free of self-bias, to be always truthful, to be authentic, to be independent and not uh, reactive, to not be just blindly emotional, to not just be strictly hyper-rational, you know, to, to follow and observe these principles, to uh, principles of universal justice and compassion and, and so on, non-judgmentalism. This is very difficult. You got to really work for decades to train the human uh, monkey mind to be able to actually walk that talk.